Man, I told y'all though. On everything, I told y'all I was coming. I told y'all I got them grills, I got all this food. I'm coming. Look. I'm talking about penitentiary pilot episode four or five. See, I don't know. It's burrito mob. That's what we're doing today. Yeah. So look, I got this rice. I'm gonna show you how we season this rice real quick. Nice and you know I me, mean? nice and fast in a hurry. Water already over there boiling. I might have to make two bowls of this, but I'm just gonna show you how to season one. Sazon, sazon over the top. That's how you get that color, and you know it come with a little taste to it too. Good sazon over the top. You know what I'm saying? Can never go wrong with that good sazon. A little bit of garlic salt. This is really simple, man. A little bit of garlic salt. Nothing crazy, but enough. Nothing crazy, but definitely enough. I'm saying a little bit of garlic salt. That was a good amount too. I mean, you you can go a little lighter than that. You can go a little lighter than that on the garlic salt. It's still gonna be good, but again, man, man, you could go a little lighter than that though. You know, and then a little lemon pepper though. Lemon pepper Ben for the win. Ben, that's him. That's Spanish rice. This meat over here already almost cooked up. We're gonna put this water in the Spanish rice right now though. That's what we're gonna do. Put that good water in that good Spanish rice. Let's see how they, you know what I'm saying? Look how I make it look. Let me see. I gotta hold it with the left. My left hand usually don't be sturdy. We're gonna try to keep it sturdy. Bam. Bam. Oh. Bam. Bam. Oh. Bam. Bam. Oh. Just keep memeing. Good hot water on that thing. Okay. Look. So check it out. We got that rice. Look, that's Spanish rice for you right there. Instant Spanish rice. You got that minute instant instant rice. Super instant. Better than minute rice. Because that, that minute rice ain't never this instant. But that's that instant instant right there. Good instant. You know what I'm saying? Drop that top on that thing. And he close to getting going. Man, here we are over here though. Okay, that meat almost ready. Man, look, I told y'all I was coming, though, man. It's burrito mob day, you know what i I told y'all I was pulling up. We was going to have some action today, man. You know what I'm Live from that penitentiary, man. You know what I'm talking about? Being for the feds, man. We doing the thing thing. We making it happen. Making it sizzle and shake. I've been going for a minute, y'all. Sure. Been going for a minute, but I told y'all yesterday I was going to get serious. And so here we are with this. Somebody said the music be too loud. I don't know if y'all heard the beat in the back. I try to turn the beat down real low. I just like I kind of like having the beat in the background. Let me know if y'all don't like the. I'm not gonna put no music on this background like that. I'm just gonna let this ride out. You know what I'm saying? But let me know on a personal note if y'all like the music touch in the background when I'm chilling, chopping game with y'all. Maybe once the music touch in the background of the, of the eating and stuff. Let me know, or maybe not the whole time, just sometimes. Let me know what y'all think I should do pertaining to that, man. All right, frontliners. I mean, you know, I seen the premiere. I had like 23 frontliners watching at the premiere, man. I don't know who y'all was, but, you know, my boy Bro Morris and my boy um, Cataract Killers definitely commented and said something. It was somebody else, too. I don't know. I, it was like, they, they commented a little later, though. But right as soon as the premiere drops, you know, Bro Morris and Cataract Killers said something. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Should I, you know what I'm saying, keep the music playing in the background or start doing that? Or just, just let me know, man. You know, let me know. But yeah, so here we are. Chilling right now. I'm about to I'm about to place this up real quick. Mix this meat around, see if this is really ready. It look like it might really be ready. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. If it's ready, you know, we gotta do what we do if it's really ready, if it's really prepared. Okay. So, yeah, man. It's been a little minute though. I've just been doing the same old, same old. Not really, but actually, I ain't been doing this. So right now, this is like a ecstatic moment for me because here I am, about to come burrito. You know what I'm saying? About to come burrito with it, and uh, yeah, I gotta get these beef pouches ready too because I'm about to throw them on the thing. I gotta get these little, little shredded beef pouches prepared. Yeah, it's almost ready. But yeah, like I, like I said though, like I really said though, man, I, I ain't been doing this. But I had just been chilling, doing my little time. Chilling and doing my little time, man. All right, let me get these shredded beef pouches ready. I got like, uh, I got three of them. It should be enough. Three of them should be, should be enough to suffice. I'm going to just make a quick eight burritos. Nothing crazy, little eight burritos. 
couple of wars, you know what I'm saying? We ain't doing nothing too crazy. You know, I'm gonna, I, so how I season this, I season this almost like the rice just melts its own, though. And I put some red pepper, some garlic powder. I didn't put no garlic salt. What I do, I just lemon pepper, um, onion, what is it? It was onion, uh, onion, chopped onions, lemon pepper, chopped onions. I put a little bit of Cajun seasoning on that thing. This meat right here, and it's, it's cooked. It's nice and dead. It's dead well. I like how it came out. It's dead well. After this, you know, we're going to cook the beef up. Get the beef cooking. Well, I'm going to let that sit one more little moment. Look at that. There we go. So since that's ready, let me wipe some of this little grease off real quick. This is, this is off to the side too far to my liking. Just gonna wipe a little bit of it off. Let me see. Grab that too. Just start. We're gonna start dripping. So yeah, let's let's do it like this. Wiping. Grabbing and wiping. Bam. All right. So now y'all see that. I'll show y'all how to look in the bowl after it's all throw in there, man. Just you know. I let y'all see it. Oh, I hate that. Dropping little meats. You know when I want to eat every single piece of meat when it drops, it's like it's only a little piece, but it's like, man, you got three little pieces. That's three little pieces, bro. That's a whole bite that just got dropped for real. A whole bite, man. Alright. Yeah. Good beef. Okay. Okay. Like I said, good beef, man. Good beef, man. That's it. And last but not least, we're going to come right here with this one. Alright. Let me show y'all how y'all season this stuff. Before I even get the seasoning, let me show y'all what that other. Actually, I'm going to season it first. We're going to get the seasoning. We're going to get it right out the way. Get everything situated. Season it off the dribble. All right. Yeah, nice and <laughs> nice and. Yeah, you know that 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 to grab up right whatever was crusted on there and get you know, seasoned with it. Whatever oils is still left over from that meat log for sure. Real quick in a hurry, but uh, that's not gonna last. This is gonna take a minute to cook as well, like this right here, for sure every time. Let me show y'all how to season it before I cut. We'll take a little break. Come back when it's cooked. So let me show y'all how that's, that's gonna go. You know, good garlic salt off the dribble with this. You know, it's shredded beef. It don't really got too much seasoning. Garlic salt, definitely. Instead of garlic powder, you wanna do salt. Good adobo. Not too much, but enough. Good adobo. Good adobo on that thing. You know what I'm saying? Man. And uh, this is a little bit, not a lot, but let's squeeze some lemon. Squeeze some lemon on that thing. Go a long way. Yeah, that should do us. We're seasoning for that. That should do us, man. So I'm mix it in. I'll let it cook. Good lemon, some good adobo, some good garlic salt, you know what I'm saying? Let that thing cook. I don't know how we come in. You definitely don't want to cook your meats the same way. You want certain meats to have certain flavors. So when you when you finally do eat, you know what I'm saying? You're taking bites, it's like, ooh, this meat tastes like this, this meat, and then they come together and create like a savory, you know, joyful taste inside your mouth. It's just different. That's why I write. That's why I do it like that though. But look, let me show y'all something real quick before I go. We got, a, we got a long night ahead of us, man. Getting back to it. Look, that's how that came. That rice over there almost cooked. Everything gonna get situated. You know, look at it. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna do numbers, though. This is gonna be some good little beef burritos right here. Good little beef burrito. I gotta throw that chili inside that hot pot, though. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Make sure you don't never forget. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Make sure you don't never forget to throw your chizzy, chili. Your chili inside some hot water. That's important. You make burritos, throw your chili in the hot water. Alright, y'all, we'll be back soon. Okay, y'all, 
Okay, here we go. You know what I mean? Damn, look. So I got the meat done. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to, right now, I'm about to clean this up, though. So I'm going to clean this up real quick. Clean this up real fast. Water on it. Put some good water on that thing. Yeah, and he's scraping. That good water always be scraping. Good water is not scraping though. Let's get the water. Oh, that's what you need. Clean it right up. Clean it right up with the preferred flavor, man. Make sure it's nicely situated. All you need though. You know, if you feel like, like this down, and you know, if you don't go and wipe it, but water in the scraper are always going to do the trick. Water in the scraper for sure. But, uh, I just, you know, I just feel like I owe y'all, bro. If anything, I just feel like I owe y'all, bro. Like, y'all, y'all got me big. I got me running tired. I got me big chilling. I owe y'all, bro. I got to pull up and let y'all know how it's really going. So I got the MI. I feel like y'all been worried about me. Oh y'all, yeah, bro. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, and I'm finna make this like a real burrito, my the real burrito, baby. The real one. So. It ain't nothing crazy. I don't got no help either, which I really need. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, I got everything else. Like, literally everything else separate. I don't even know Snyder pencils that I like, but I wasn't even trying to get to it. But I for so wanted some Velveeta. I was cool with not getting the Snyder pencils this time, but I had. I don't know what I was, I think I was trying to like, trade it. This night of pencil I used to get, I was like, man, I'm just going to get all cereal this time. I'm really, you know, I'm hungry. I'm going to go cereal. I double back on the pencils next time. That's where, I think that's where my head was at with pertaining to that. But for real, like, it didn't even, you know what I'm saying? I didn't even get the Velveeta. And I told y'all yesterday, I was like, bro, I'm not feeling this. Because this, this is where it starts to affect you. You didn't get no Velveeta. And then here today, when you, you breed on my bin. You know what I'm saying? You like, man, I don't got no belt either. That's when it starts to hit you. Like from the gate, it don't even it don't even affect you at all. But when you when you get to burrito mob, you like, hold on a second, bro. <laughs> I ain't got no belt either. And it starts to affect your situation, your scenario, man. And it's like what I'm supposed to do now. You're supposed to be without the Velveeta. I mean, I guess you're not supposed to be, but you is. So you gotta you gotta just be without the Velveeta. Gotta make things happen without the Velveeta, man. That's it. That's all you can do at this point. And you know why? Cause you ain't got no Velveeta. That's it. That's why I tell you, man. I, 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 when I said when I realized I ain't had no Velveeta, I was very, I was, I was, I was very, you know, disappointed. I was like, I'm not feeling this. I think y'all seen if y'all watched the video from yesterday, y'all seen it in my face that I was not feeling that. No Velveeta mean no, no Velveeta mean no Velveeta. Like I don't even know how to put it. You know what I'm saying? But like I, I still got some squeeze cheese. I got I got enough of it to make do. And I ain't complaining or nothing like that. I just I'm just saying I you know, th these are the type of mistakes that we all make. I know y'all go to the grocery store, spend a couple hours in there, y'all trying to grab something really important. Y'all grab a lot of stuff that's important, but miss one of the most important items and be like, man, I was just in there for two hours. I was just over here. Why well, didn't you know what I'm saying? That that's how I feel right now. Cause I for sure plan this out meticulously. I don't know if they must have ran out or something. I for sure I knew I must have put that on the list. Cause what what can I do without it? Now I can do a bunch without it. But what do I want? I don't want to do nothing without it. Just cause I can don't mean I want to. Like don't nobody want to do nothing without no Velveeta. We talking Velveeta, man. Like what you what? That's crazy. We run this thing talking about some Velveeta for real. So. Let's get real, let's get real tricky with this. Get real tricky with this real quick, though. We're gonna plant you right up here. You know what I'm saying? Get real, real tricky with this today. Let me see where we at with it. All right, let's, let's do it. Plug these pants real quick and make it do what it do. Okay. Hey, you cook real right there. You get the first one started. We got to do it quick because, you know, that grill hot. That grill just waiting for me to just do the do. These all folded up. I wonder if these tortillas any good, man. Who that?
I thought I heard something, bro. Am I tripping? Did y'all hear something, bro? I heard something. I ain't gonna lie. Who that? I thought it was somebody coming for me, y'all. I thought they was coming for your boy. They coming for your boy, man. Somebody watch out. Watch them, y'all. They coming for your boy. <laughs> I'm cap. Look, this look good. Cool, you don't gotta put nothing on the top, but some on the inside it always good. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Yeah, like I said. You know, I don't got no, man, let me, let me try to do this expeditiously, because I ain't got no, uh, Velveeta. What I do got, though, some good old squeezer thing, some good squeezer thing, man, let's do it. We're going to put some squeezer thing at the bottom, or should we put it in the middle? We're going to put it in the middle. You know we're going to put the bottom? I got some siggity sauce for that. Some siggity sauce for that, you know? We're going to make it do what it do. Hold on. Had to dip low. And grab that good old Siggy sauce real quick, man. You know, didn't want y'all all in my business. But here we go. Good Siggy sauce right there. Look at him. Look at him. Wasn't supposed to come out like that, I don't think. But, man, it did what it did. It hopefully, it's still tasting right. You smell it? You smell like it tastes good. Let's give it a wiggle. All right, well, I don't know. Got that habanero in it lively. Give it a wiggle. Grab me a little, you mean? Okay. What's in there? This is going to be like a little daddy, though. Look at him. He ain't no lord. That ain't no big burrito. That's a little daddy. It got to be. Let me see, man. Let's, let's do this real quick. Cause you know I ain't even did this yet. And it's mandatory. Make that rice right. Yeah, get that rice. You got to mix that rice together. Yeah, okay. Man, it's like gonna be a little daddy right here. What y'all think? Meat, cheese, rice, meat? Or y'all think rice, meat, cheese, meat? What y'all think? I think I'm gonna go meat, cheese, rice, meat, cheese. Or rice, meat, che cheese, meat. What y'all think, man? Ooh, you know what's crazy? What I was forgetting to do? And I'm about to get it right right now. Grab that chili. Them beans too. We gotta get them beans ready. So now, so now it's getting serious because now you're getting everything situated the way it's supposed to be situated, okay? Let me see this. Alrighty. Alrighty then. So that's what that's what we're gonna do with the meat. Cheese. Beans. Meat, cheese, beans, rice, cheese, meat. That's what we doing. Meat, cheese, beans, rice, cheese, meat. That's how we cut it. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? So we doing meat, cheese, beans, rice, cheese, meat. You know what I'm saying? First meat is going to be the smallest of the meats. Or no. First meat is going to be the heaviest of the meats. I'm coming. I feel like I got more of this than the other kind of meat, so we're gonna come with more of him first from the gate. You know, it, it ain't really gotta be too much anyway. You know what I'm saying? Especially since this is gonna be a smaller burrito, and you already know that. All right, yeah, bam, there. So I said meat, cheese, bam. You know, meat, cheese. You gonna spread that cheese on that? Spread that cheese on that thing, like yeah. Meat, cheese, beans. We get going with these beans, man, you know. Meat, cheese, beans. All right. Look at him. Okay. Okay. Meat, cheese, beans. Oh, everything. And then rice. Meat, cheese, beans, rice. Let me, let me put some more on that because, you know, we're going to... Okay, you know, meat, cheese, beans, and then rice. Not too much though, because you see this is a little burrito. So let me, let me just get him going, get enough to just you know top the top, and then we're gonna put some more. Look at that, that rice is sticky. That rice is sticky, man. That's that ooey gooey. 
And look, man, look, see, the rice ain't the rice ain't trying to be cooperative, man. Rice, you got to cooperate, rice. You know? You got to cooperate, rice. Yeah, yeah, like that. You got to cooperate, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more rice. Yeah, yeah that probably was too much rice. Remember, for that little tiny burrito, that probably too much rice, man. But now... A little bit of... Should I put some more cheese, y'all think? What y'all think? A little bit more cheese. And there's some meat. And there's some sauce. Yeah, that's what we're doing. A little bit more cheese. One little squirt. Bam. A little bit more cheese. Some meat. Not a lot of meat. Just a little something. You feel me? Some meat. More cheese. You feel me? A little more scoop of meat. Some cheese. Some meat. And then some little sauce to just top it off. Tell you, it's like a little, it's like a little bun, like a little, you feel me? I'm telling you, like, an egg tortilla probably ain't this little up in here, but this one little, like, what's up with that? Well, that's a little ass tortilla, but. Uh, nah. Ain't got nothing. I'm telling you, it's like a little ass fucking, this little ass tortilla. I don't know what's going on with this, but that's how they coming. They gonna be bigger than this, though, because this is a little ass tortilla. So this little ass tortilla, like you know, we're rolling right now though. We gonna do it, do. Bam, bam. Okay, little ass tortilla, but he's still doing it, do. He still got rolled. See, he almost got a pop right there. That's a little pop. Look at him, little pop. We gonna let that sit though. But yeah, look at that little tortilla though, bro. That's a little baby ass tortilla, bro. I don't ever be coming in. What type of Caladad tortilla is, bro? Baby ass tortilla, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm tripping with Calidad for this. Don't never y'all like bring me no baby ass tortilla like that again. That was a baby ass tortilla. Look, and then y'all bring me a broken, a broken one, a baby one. I'm gonna throw him. He threw. I ain't doing that. Oh, broken ass, broken tortilla. Baby tortillas and broken tortillas is crazy. Let me see what's up with these ones right here. Is these baby tortillas in the back? No, see, this is the type of tortilla that's, that I'm tortillaing about. You see, it? that's what it's supposed to be. Big boy. All that little baby tortilla business that I'm just dealing with, bro. What is that, bro? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody signed up for no baby tortillas, bro. I know I didn't. I didn't come out like I ain't come here for that, bro. But look, oh, we gonna cook the baby tortilla right now. Matter of fact, cause uh, that grill is hot, so off the dribble, y'all. Before it get too crazy, let's get it going. We gonna throw some of this on that thing. Okay, and he ready. He was just waiting for me to just get cooking. He knew hot grill. Hot grill. It was ready for me just to get over there and say something like, "Like, bro, like, what are you doing? Like, did you forget that you're cooking? The grill is hot. Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I know y'all can't see that right this second, but yeah, you know, I threw that mayo on that thing. That's what you do every time. You throw the mayo on that thing first. You see if I can. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I was gonna tuck this some more, but man, look, we're we gonna we're gonna just let this do what it do. It should have never been coming like this, really, to be honest with y'all. It should have never been coming like this. But bam. Oh, okay. Be nice and seasoned up all through the thing. Alright. We're gonna go like that. We're gonna cook him side to side. That's how we're gonna cook him. Alright, let's do it. So look, he cooking now. And uh, as I cook him, I'm about to, I'm about to get situated. I, I really was gonna make another one for y'all eyes, but look, man, let me show y'all some real quick, and I'll show y'all some finishing products. But this is burrito, my penitentiary palate. That's a low ass tortilla, bro. That's a bigger, regular size tortilla. That's a low ass tortilla, though. I swear, I'm giving that to my. I'm not eating that, bro. Man, how many gonna eat that low ass tortilla? That's a baby burrito, bro. I'm big boy. I ain't doing that. Not uh, but I'll be back, y'all, in a minute. It's all done. Uh, we don't even want to get too crazy, man. But look, man, the, the burrito mob just showed out. Y'all see that? That's how the insides come out. Look at, look at that, boy, with the little rice inside. I, I know you want 80 more. Um, man, the, the burrito mob just showed out, man. We just showed out. It's good burrito mob days. You feel me? We doing what we do. Oh, everything, bro. Look at him. They don't be coming like this, man. You know what I'm saying? This that penitentiary palette, though. They don't be coming like this though, man. Look, hey. They don't be coming like this though, you feel me? I look, this is just something like though. I recommend though, you hear me? 
I recommend that you just go to the taco truck and don't commit a crime and learn about the penitentiary. Go to the taco truck, man. They probably make, I swear, the taco truck, I ain't never had a taco truck burrito in prison. No. My little prison, prison my burritos, you feel me? Penitentiary burrito my, you feel me? Yeah, this is cool. I love it. But I never. <laughs> that boy Manny just popped a diggity dough on me and scared the feezy out the boy. I didn't see that coming, y'all. Alright, bro. But yeah, man. Something, something like. Something like. Yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. It's the last mode. I'm cooking up the last one. I already just tore off that other one I just showed y'all before, man. He scared the heebie jeebies out of me. You know? But, um. I'm gonna tell y'all like this, man. It's real ups and downs to this little, uh, this little prison, you know, situation. Real ups and downs to it. I think that, let me, uh, let me rephrase it. I'm gonna tell y'all like this, man, you feel me? It's real ups and downs to life, you know? Somebody commented on the thing, it was like, man, it's crazy, because last week I was just having it, and this week I ain't got a dollar, but Ben was doing bad last week, and now he's just doing his thing. And that's life life goes like that you have a season where everything is just going your way and you know you can't lose for nothing and then you have a season where you can't win for nothing but one thing that I can say is if you have faith that it changes and that it gets better it will you know what I'm saying I just wanted to leave y'all with that have faith that it's gonna get better man um, I've been doing this I've been doing this for quite a while I'm talking about time I'm not talking about the YouTube I'm talking about doing time for quite a while and uh, it always just goes back to me for it. If I want different out of life, I gotta be different. And, I, and I'm, I'm done with this time. I'm done with this prison stuff. I had my little fun. I, I ran the muck, you know what I'm saying? I did the streets. I'm trying to do something corporate, man. I'm gonna figure something out though, but I love y'all, man. I love y'all the most. I just wanted to show y'all what the, I, I know y'all just seen the innards of that other breed, all that thing. So this, this thing for to be, ugh. I'm out of here though, but I love y'all the most, man. Frontliner forever. Frontliners for life. Frontliners as symbol. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Oh my mama.